Do you want to say something? No, I was going <laughs> to. I was going to. <laughs> 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 All right, everyone. Welcome back to Bomb Feed. We're doing another wedding first dance tutorial for you. And we're going to teach you guys the basic step in a bunch of different dances to match your song. So let's get right into it. Our first basic is going to be Foxy, one of the most popular wedding dances. And here we go. What it looks like is we both take two steps. We go walk, walk, and then we go sway, sway. So it's like the advanced version of just swaying in place the entire time. We could be dancing here just swaying all the time. But in this dance, we have to travel and move a little bit down the floor and then do two sways. We could do this over and over again and travel down the floor a little bit. So we could go walk, walk, sway, sway walk walk sway sway and it's a nice dance it's very romantic and slow but moves us around the floor a little bit so we're not too stationary all right we'll break those steps down just a little bit for you so we can dance it together <clears throat> i'm going to talk about my steps first i'm starting with my right foot as the follower i'm going one step back right one step back left and then i'm going to the side of my right sway right sway left and then i repeat the same thing to go from the other side i go right foot back Back, sway, sway. All right, so I'm going left foot forward first here. I'm going left foot forward, right foot forward, left foot side to sway, right foot side to sway. Just four steps that I can repeat over and over and over again. It's gonna be one, two, three, four. So this was again the basic to Foxy. It's straight timing, meaning we should go one, two, three, four, evenly and consistently around the floor. And we'll show you that to music now. Basic number two is gonna be our rumba and it's gonna be the box step. So let's do that together. We're gonna to go step, side, together. Step, side, together. And the timing, we can count it like this. We go slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. So first I'm just gonna go over my steps and then he's gonna go over his steps. So I'm gonna start with my right foot going back. I go side and the left. Close my feet, switching weight, forward left, side right, close my feet and switch. And then I repeat. I'm going forward first on my left foot, forward left, side right and close my feet together, back right foot, side left and close the feet together. So this one we also have up, every single one of these dances we have up for you in more detail, even on just this basic steps, we're gonna link all those below. But with that being said, let's do this one more time with timing. Slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. All right, we'll try that with some music for you and then we'll move right along. All right, our next basic number three is gonna be Vini's Waltz. It is a wedding style, single time Vini's Waltz, not the traditional one that moves really, really fast down the floor, but a great slow wedding style version. What it's gonna look like here is we're gonna go one, two, three, four. All these different basics go to different kinds of music that feel a little bit better to them. So again, this is our third option. You're gonna see here again, we're gonna go one, two, three, four. We do it from the other side. We'll do one, two, three, four. Okay, now I'm gonna say what I'm doing with my feet, starting with the right foot, one step back, one step forward left, side on the right, side on the left. So I'm just going backwards on my right, forward left, side right, and side left. And as you can see, I'm just brushing my feet together underneath with a free leg each time. I'm going forward first, left foot forward, back right, side left, side right. A little bit of timing here. We're going step hold, Step, hold, step, hold, step, hold. We'll now do the Venus Waltz here to music. So 
episode, you can pick your first wedding dance by either which dance you'd like the best, or again, if you already have a song picked out, you can go into our song library and find out what dance goes to that song. But a lot of people like to look at all these different basics first and then choose which one they like the best and then pick a song relative to that dance. We have a lot of different options. All right, now we're gonna move to our fourth dance and this is a classic, this is the waltz. So let's learn that. We actually already did the footwork in a different way in the rumba. It's still the box step. So we're gonna demonstrate that what that's gonna look like together. It's gonna go one, two, three, one, two, Three, so unlike rumba, we're not having any rhythm changes. It's just a one, two, three consistent timing. This typically is also in a three, four timing, which makes it a little more unique than the other ones. However, there are popular wedding songs that you could dance this to, and it's a classic dance. Hmm. So we'll go over the footwork really quick now. Since you already learned the box step in rumba, your first question is gonna be, what was the difference between rumba and waltz? Because we just, it looks like the same thing, right? When we did the rumba basic, we had this kind of like hold side together slow quick quick when we dance waltz we just go one two three and every single beat is the same value and it's consistent as we move along where rumba had this little bit of pause because again the music sounds very different another way you could decide if you like rumba or waltz better if it's not really about the music rumba is a stationary dance it's very small we could dance it in our kitchen that's how small it is where waltz is one that travels around the floor so you have a big floor and you're trying to take up a lot of space Waltz is a choice for you. All right, let's do the waltz to music for you. Okay, so our last final basic for you is something that's a little bit different, but it's still a great, easy basic to learn, which is called the bachata. So we're gonna learn that together. But let's show you with some timing first. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And from my side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is definitely different than the other four, but I wanted to throw it in in case you wanted to have a slightly different feeling. And this also could go slower or a little bit faster, potentially depending on your song. But let's go over the footwork. So I'm gonna go side right, close and switch, side right, tap left. Then I go side left, close, side left, tap. I'm gonna go the opposite direction, going side left, close together, side, tap the right foot, side right close together side tap the left foot this dance is definitely more of like a latin club dance and in ballroomfeed.com you'll see this dance under the club section however there are a lot of great slow songs because it is a slow club latin dance people even use for their wedding as well which is why it's our fifth option this also could be a great option to dance at your reception as well all right we're going to dance that to music for you Right, guys thanks so much for sticking to the end of the video i hoped you enjoyed this and learned a few new steps also if you had a question on what song matches what dance be sure to check out our spotify playlist specific to each dance style or just comment down below and we'll answer it for you also check out our website ball and feed pro section where we have a bunch more on each of these dances i'm going to link each down below that way you can expand on it once you figure out your basic steps all right, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you again very soon. Bye.